Hello and welcome to this video about a quick comparison and a quick review of this little guy which is the PAUKID V90 so it's like a new Game Boy Advance SP uh, made from PAUKID um, and you can play a lot of ROMs on it you can play all the games from the GBA from the Game Boy Color, from the Game Boy, and even um, some other consoles like the PS1, uh, the SNES, the NES, and so on. So, uh, here we have a size comparison to my uh, old little guy, little friend, the Game Boy Advance SP on the left. Um, so you can see the footprint, it's a little smaller. Uh, on the side like this and on the back like this the really nice thing about the Pauke DV90 is that it has it has a um, removable battery and I think if I'm not mistaken it's like a standard Nokia um, old Nokia battery uh, so if you want some details it's it's really good you can swap it you can buy it for like nothing it's super cool here you have the sd card slot so i put a 128 card on it which is a little bit overkill but i have a lot of games so i put it here like this if you are wondering what this is, it's it's because the button is a little finicky, so I put a little bit of this thing here to keep it in place. If you want a close-up, we have here on the back L1, L2, R2, R1, Pau Kiddy. You open it, you have all these buttons. You have a special button here for the menus. You have the two speakers. So it's stereo speaker. You have here a little knob for the volume. On the bottom, you have USB-C and a jack. But things to be noticed: the USB-C doesn't work if you plug a USB-C cable. And at the other end of the cable, there is also a USB-C. USB-C to USB-C does not work on this to charge it or to transfer data um, I mean you cannot transfer data but yeah to charge it so you need to have a USB-C to USB-A and then you plug it to the wall or you plug it to your computer and everything that's a thing that's a little annoying but yeah you have to know it so after this and uh, yeah you may know the GBA SP here on the back we have uh, the grandfather the Game Boy Color so let's turn it on, okay, shall we? So I have the MiU, I don't know how to pronounce it, software, and if we put, yeah, the sound, you have kind of a uh, sound that reminds us of the GBA SP, if I open it, my little guy has battery, yeah, I didn't hear very much, but I didn't put the song at all. Let's close it. Ah, now we're talking. So the first thing that strikes you is the screens. So if I go like uh, on this, for example, so you have Pokemon uh, Emerald here. And on the other side, you have uh, like a remake of Emerald. But as you can see, the first thing that you can see really, really is the screens. This is an old, I don't remember the technology, but like the backlight is coming from the sides only. And this is a standard LCD. So yeah, you can see no comparison. I will zoom a little bit. You have here the Pocky DV90 and here the GBA SP. And then on the resolution, I like to decide, but I think the PAUKIDI 
is better also. So that's it for this. The sound, if I here you have mono on the SP and you have a stereo on the power KD. But the speakers are not so so great, but you can put a, a jack. Here you have the sound the sound on the Pau KD V90. If I put it down and put back the GBSP. Yeah, the sound is better on the Pau KD, but they are both not really great. On the GBSP you have a um, proprietary port. You have the I don't remember which which is a proprietary port, but one of these is a proprietary port and the other one is to connect to another SP. Oh, it's written maybe. Yeah. Anyway, yeah I think this one is to charge it. Um, and you don't not have a removable battery, uh, but you can plug it. The only thing I'm, I want to to say about the comparison between the two, hardware-wise, is that the build quality of uh, the GBSP is way better. This was built like a tank. It's like I don't remember. It came out maybe I don't know in 2004, 2005, something like this. Maybe no, maybe uh, less. And it's built like a tank. It works. It always works. It's very, very good. Nothing wiggles. Nothing. Yeah, it's perfect. On the other side, on the Pau KD, you can see it's a kind of conception is cheap. I bought another one in yellow that I gave to a friend, and um, it was better made. Like this button is finicky with me. On the yellow one, it was perfect. The screen, I think, was better on the yellow yellow one. So maybe. It's a new series or something, so you may want to to be aware that maybe you will have a good one, maybe not so much. But for me, it works pre pretty well. Like uh, it's a new game. I will close now. Maybe the GBS. Yeah, you can see the screen is really really bad on this angle. And if you do with the Pau KD, you can still see here. Here you cannot see anything. So yeah. Screen technology way better on the Pau Kili. Um Then maybe I will I will do a full review I think on this little guy, but this is kind of uh, of just a, a preview. Uh, you have here the software. If I do this, maybe yeah, you cannot see uh, the whole screen, but yeah, you have uh, different emulators. Um, yeah, you need to, to have the game to play the, the ROMs. Here, for example, on Pokemon Emerald, I have the French version of Pokemon Emerald. Um, and yeah, here you have uh, different settings. Uh, what can I say quickly? You can adjust the brightness. No, it's not this. You can adjust the brightness. I don't remember how to do it. Yeah, like this. You, you put the press select and then you can adjust the brightness and the brightness of the screen can go down to black or one. This is level one, this is full level of brightness. So yeah, quite good. Um, I think I will stop here for this video. Uh, it was more on the hardware side. Uh, I will surely do um, a follow-up on this maybe more on the software side if you're interested put a like put a comment to tell me what you want to see next and don't forget to subscribe it really helps this little channel that i want to grow maybe maybe not see you bye bye love